one of the things that both you guys have probably dealt with between prison and Hollywood is getting hit on by people you don't really necessarily want to sleep with. <laughs> so what do you guys do? Uh, Taylor, you probably... You're probably fun <laughs> to me. I'm going to guess you experienced this um, somewhat. What do I do with all those throngs of people? Um, <laughs> I pretend I can't hear them. <laughs> say, what did you say? No. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of, I'm, I don't know how to, I don't really experience that as a, as a problem. You pr really? No, I mean, I don't think so. No. All right. You, pr you don't pretend you're French or anything like that. We know that. No, I don't. I don't pretend I'm French. I don't pretend, I don't pretend I can't hear them either. That was kind of a lie. I don't really do that. We figured. We, fi we, went, yeah. we went with what you. What are you doing after the show? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you doing somebody, after the show? Somebody say something. Who, <laughs> I think she's French. And what, <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Viper? From prison, you, I'm assuming you did get hit on and... and... Uh, yeah, uh, uh, sure. I mean, and God knows it was a long celibate year. <laughs> I watched the show with some jealousy. <laughs> you didn't have, there was, there was nobody? Uh, there was Larry showing up in the, in the visiting room, you know, Yay, every single Larry. weekend. Thank God, reminding me why I was staying celibate. Yeah. Um, I will tell you one thing that is funny, though. I mean, I come in contact now with a lot of college students who are not interested in sleeping with me because I'm about the same age as their mom. Um, but they are interested in the show, obviously, passionately interested in the show. And of course, there's always a fair number of, you know, lesbian students, you know, if I speak on a college, who come and they come in a gaggle, usually they're 19 years old. They're sort of in a little group for, for bravery. And there's one who's sassy, so she's always the one who steps up. And re recently, I was really tired. You know, I'd signed a lot of books, which I'm thrilled to do. But she said, uh, <laughs> What's up with Alex? Like, how are you? Like, are you in touch? And I was like, she's 52 and she's getting over a heart attack, all right? <laughs> and they just went, <gasps> and ran away. <laughs> and I felt sad. I felt, I was like, oh, that was mean. <laughs> oh, you told them. Yeah, but you know, that interest in, um, in a sex life, which is essentially ancient history, that particular part of my sex life, I do still have a sex life, yeah. um, is odd. And I just want to say that the a woman she's referring to is the woman that she, um, Piper agreed to, uh, was dating, and uh, that's how she got involved with um, the drug cartel, not with the um, attorney general. Much shorter than Ella, much shorter than Laura Prevon. Uh, not, a, not as, not <laughs> as, no, much shorter. <laughs> that's much the most shorter. important fact, if you guys walk away, that the <laughs> actual Alex in real life is uh, substantially Small shorter woman. than the actress playing her. Bye.